does it take for anybody to uh, to join a clinical trial? filter how, how do you select the participants for a clinical trial for a vaccine? Yeah. I can talk only of general procedures because you know vaccines vary depending on the type, depending on how they're going to be administered, depending on how it was developed by the vaccine developer. The protocols are designed based on these specifications. But generally speaking, when you talk of vaccines, you have to test it in communities where transmission is going on. In other words, where there are many cases. In this case, many COVID-19 cases. Why? Because ang gusto mo nga makita ay kung itong mga bakunang ito ay nagbibigay ng protection. So you have to use the normal exposure, meaning you are in a place where there are many cases, so most likely the virus circulating there. So if you don't get the infection compared to another person who was not given the vaccine, maybe it is working. Uh, yes. See? Yeah. So that's the most important. Okay. And the second one is usually uh, you have to be evaluated first that you do not have the disease yet. Yes. Because if you recognize the disease at the time of administration, so what's the use? Yes, right. And secondly, it will complicate the picture because you might say the vaccine is not working when in fact it's not working because you already have the disease right, before right. it was actually given. So that's the other one. Yes. It but, has but to be baseline studies done also. Hmm. But you have to be healthy. Do you have to uh, not be immunocompromised in any way? I mean, generally might... speaking, yeah. generally speaking, yes. We have to first test whether they will work in the general population. Meaning, ito yung mga ordinary yung tao na walang kakaibang sakit o walang mga pwede magkos ng uh, ng kabawasan ng kanyang immune response. Bago hmm. kung yun ay proven effective, then they will go to those special groups uh -huh. to see whether it will also work in those uh -huh. groups. Ganon usually, ah, ganon usually ang proseso. Uh -huh. May age requirement ba? May age requirement? For testing, ah. age requirement? Yes, of course. Definitely uh -huh. because uh, that will depend on anong plano nila. Saan ba nila talaga itong unang gagamitin o gagamitin? Uh -huh. uh, again, generally speaking, we start with adults. Okay. So usually, Itong sa COVID-19, it will be ages, what, 18 to about 55. Why? Mm -hmm. Kasi if you go with the extremes of ages, either pinakabata o yung mga matanda, mm -hmm. ano na eh, you're going to another group na, which is not necessarily the general population. You want yes. to see first whether it works in the mm -hmm. general population before you move to the special groups. Pero meron mga bakuna na yung kaagad ng kanilang gusto, isinasama na nila kaagad. So it really depends on what they plan to do. I'm just talking of the general, the usual procedure. Right. And how do you know when to stop administering the, you know, how, how do you know, what do you monitor exactly? I, I think that's the point, no? Uh, kunyari ako, binakunahan ngayon. Uh, are you going to be monitoring me on a daily basis? And what are you going to watch out for uh, in terms of the side effects? Uh -oh. Well, well, una una, because phase three trials, usually you deal with thousands of patients. Yes. The side effects that you will be seeing here may not have been seen during the phase one and phase two because oh. the population sizes were smaller. So okay. you increase the population, the likelihood of picking a one or two cases that will present with some reaction will actually be higher. So by experience, uh, again, generally speaking, uh, they usually terminate the study when one, when there is something untoward that happened, it's a major event, somebody mm. dies, maybe, I'm not sure. Mm. Uh, so, you know, you have to stop and find out whether the vaccine has anything, anything to do with the death. Then, if it has nothing to do with the death, then they resume the trial. Mm -hmm. no? So, mm -hmm. so that, that will be one possibility. The other one is no one is dying. It's safe. No? Nothing is happening. But you, so, you notice that parang maraming nakaka-COVID doon sa mga bibigyan. 
Oh. So that means it's, not, mm. it's not, probably not working. Yes, so it's yes. not worth the waiting. Okay. But how do okay. you... Okay. you okay. I mean, for example, Kunyari lang, sandali, Rob, sa, paano kung, hmm. kunyari, uh, nagkaroon ako ng side effect na malala? Uh, does it come to a point where it's, you know, I'm beyond cure? Paano yun? That does no, no. Uh, well, alam nyo naman kasi, kaya nga we're doing a clinical trial is because we we are not sure uh, what the side effects will be, at least the major ones. Yeah. What we are sure of is there will be no major ones. Now, let me clarify. Uh -huh. Usually, yeah. when they reach phase three, we're almost sure that no one will die. No uh -oh. one will have okay. a major okay. side effect. No, I just clarify okay. that. Okay, get it. 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 Briefing, my disclaimer, my orientation, my warning sa yo. Uh, how will the warning go? I mean, uh, let's say kami katlo, eh, nakalinya kami para, para testing in, para i trial yan. How will a standard uh, warning message or disclaimer message or briefing to us go? What, how, what will you warn us for yeah. or about? Whatever drug or whatever vaccine is given. Uh, the basic requirement is that it should be voluntary, the participation, okay. and they have, be, they have to be uh, well informed. Ano ba yung trial? Ano ba tong produkto? Ano yung posibleng epekto niya? Base doon sa mga nakaraang pag-aaral sa phase 1, phase 2. Uh, Gano ba tong kasave? No? Bago sila umoo, no? uh, this is what we call free prior informed consent, FPIC. Mm. And mm. they have to sign. But, that informed consent is on a day-to-day, -day, meaning it doesn't be that just because you signed it that you are already uh, not bound to uh, abide by it. Wow. It can also be that the following day, if you're asked to report, you just decide not to come, that's up to you. Um, you're given a vaccine, you don't want to finish it, it's given two times. You don't want to continue it, that's up to you. It will mm. not change uh, the amount of... Um, follow up that you will get kasi some people think na kapag ako nag-decide na ayoko na ituloy pababayaan na ako ng ng mga uh, uh, researcher hindi po totoo yun in fact um, even those who are not able to complete the trial those who decide to stop midway they're still followed up oh, primarily okay. because uh, whether you continued you finished or you stopped midway you are the responsibility of the research and the researcher. Okay. Yung therapeutic misconception, what I'm saying is, akala ng tao, o dapat malaman nila, na posibleng walang epekto yung bakuna, o walang beneficyo na maibibigay sa kanila. Walang masamang epekto, pero walang beneficyo na maibibigay sa kanila. Kasi hindi sila dapat sasali expecting that they will benefit from the vaccine. So yun yung tinatawag kong therapeutic misconception. They think this misconception that it's going to benefit them. Uh -huh. We hope it will, but it should not be an expectation. Uh -huh. So, yun yung okay. sinasabi ko na, ano, na kailangan klaro. At isa pa, no, there is a much control, meaning there's a placebo. You probably heard of the word placebo. Yes, 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 yes. It looks like the active one, but it doesn't contain anything active. Right. Yeah. There's the chance okay. you can belong to that arm. But anyway, no, no. Pero, pero kaya kami ako, researcher ako, no? naging clinical trials ako before. Kaya malaki po ang aning utang na loob sa mga nagsumasali sa clinical trial. Uh -huh. yes, we always yes. tell them because uh -huh. what they do is really some form of heroism because oh, who yeah, would yeah be willing to contribute to knowledge to find out whether this works or not. Right. See? So that's something that we have to, to recognize the people who volunteer in clinical trials.